Today, uh, I will present about the in vitro embryo production and related technologies. And then, uh, what my talk today, uh, according to the assisted uh, reproductive technologies, uh, about the artificial insemination and then in vitro fertilization, IVF, and intracytoplasmic sperm injection, ICSI, monocytic identical twins, chimera. ICM, inner cell mass transfer, somatic cell nuclear transfer, and partenogenetic. I hope uh, uh, I can do all the things, even with this, uh, uh, not uh, deeply, but uh, if you want to uh, discuss more, we can uh, discuss later. Or we may have uh, another webinar with a specific uh, tema. Okay, so for the embryo production, I want to uh, divide it into two methods. One is in vivo and in vitro. In vivo, we usually use the technology of MOAT, uh, multiple ovulation and embryo transfer. And uh, for in vitro, usually we collect the oocyte, we fertilize with the sperm. And from the oocyte collection, we can get uh, from the live animal by the uh, technology of ovum pickup or we uh, get the oocyte from the slaughtered animal, death animal or uh, in the slaughterhouse. Uh, and we can aspirate the, the follicle to get the oocyte and do the IVF and technology, related technology. So here's the uh, embryo production in general. For normal fertilization, if we talk about the uh, reproduction, then we have to have a male producing the sperm and female producing the oocyte. And then after the fertilization, become the zygote, develop into the embryo, morally and uh, blastocyst. And after the blastocyst, uh, they hatch and uh, do the implantation and we will get the baby. So uh, for the uh, normal fertilization, uh, as I want to talk about the artificial insemination, we have already known Oh, uh, the mission of the uh, artificial insemination is uh, if we have the high grade pool, we have to optimize the uh, high grade pool by the collecting the sperm and then we uh, do the AI artificial insemination for the recipient and uh, hopefully we will get the 50% of the uh, genetic upgrade from this uh, pool. Uh, when we do the IVF, uh, no, uh, artificial insemination for the recipient. So it means uh, we have just uh, add the genetic trait from the uh, pool by the 50%. Everybody know, I think we have to collect the sperm uh, by the uh, vaginal artificial, and then we dilute it, we do the acroposatation, and we can transport everywhere for the uh, uh, sperm of racing. And then we do the uh, AI, yeah. Uh, so we move on load the, uh, for transposition, we move on load the uh, sperm, we don't necessarily do. And then also for the uh, engineers animal also, this is uh, some kind of the genetic banking for the male, uh, male side. So the, uh, for the next, uh, if we have the high grid of bull and the cows, if we do the artificial insemination, then uh, we will get this uh, cows is uh, pregnant. So once a uh, cows is pregnant, we will not uh, ovulate and we have to wait for nine months to get the baby. So by doing the more, uh, multiple ovulation and embryo transfer, we try to stimulate this turner uh, uh, cows to have more ovulation, and then we do the uh, artificial insemination or norm, norm, uh, natural mating, and then we get the embryos. By the uh, super ovulation treatment, we can have more than uh, five or 10, or maybe more than that, the embryos, and then we uh, transfer the embryo to the recipient, that has the same uh, uh, cycles with the donor when we collect the embryo. 
and then we will get the uh, cows having the genetic from this uh, high grade bull and cows. So we use the surrogate mother in this in this uh, technology. For the MOAT technology, we have to know the uh, molecular dynamic of these uh, cows, or maybe uh, I think Dr. Zainal can uh, tell us about the how to manage in the stimulation in the uh, smartan line also. So in the cows, we, uh, we know that uh, they have uh, two types. One is a uh, two wave of the follicular wave, follicular dynamic, and then uh, they have also the third wave, one, two, three. So we have to know when we have to uh, start the stimulation of FSH, and then we do the uh, uh, ovulation using the LS of JNFH. So we cannot uh, treat the animal, uh, stimulation the animal of any, anywhere, uh, any time of these cycles. We have to see when the uh, follicle recruitment starts in there. Yeah, so many, uh, uh, several methods for that and uh, using the cider and uh, to maintain the corpus luteum and then uh, we do the uh, uh, PGF, 2 alpha, etc. So we can discuss uh, later. So at least we have to know the uh, uh, follicular dynamic of this uh, cows and then we have to uh, mention when we have to start. We can see this uh, uh, follicular wave by uh, ultrasonography. So after we uh, get the ovulation and we do the artificial insemination, hopefully on the day six or day seven, the embryo already moved to the womb, the uterus, coronary theory. So we can collect the embryos before the implantation using the polycatheter. Polycatheter means that we have the catheter with the balloon there. So we uh, Place the uh, uh, air and make the balloon expand uh, it to stop the, this uh, area. Yeah. So, by the medium, we can pass the uh, embryo here masses there and then we after we do and everything yeah this is a very expensive Cows. So we, if we no, uh, collect the embryo, this is my topic, this is okay, since they comes. And we search the embryo and uh, the embryo, and it is depend on the source for the collection uh, method. Uh, 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 we have uh, or uh, also the rest one of the uh, donor. Sometimes we got five, sometimes we got ten, and once we got the uh, twenty-four embryos, uh, we can directly case. Uh, I do the. It, This uh, and uh, we can option as the calf in the one year, for example. So by this uh, uh, method, we can embryo because of the uh, cows, yeah, of course not and we can optimize the, the embryo. So the in vitro embryo production
uh, we have used the method of automatic up and we can uh, uh, doing uh, renewing. I mean, we set from slaughter and no. this is the final. It can get uh, we are still the old sign uh, and then uh, the poly and we get because the animals did die. So this is the final all set because the animals did die. So in a human, of course, we do this uh, uh, method and we can uh, repeat it or uh, for the next uh, babies. But in this case, uh, usually in the death uh, animal or we, we go to the house. So for the often pick up and the ultrasound to collect the, uh, uh, of course we have to know that this is the uh, uh, follicle dynamic then uh, follicle wave and we have to know uh, and the time of the follicle develop and then we enter a follicle develop and we aspirate. So this is the equipment. This is the uh, all type of the uh, ultrasound, and then the, our team from the, the the important thing this this is the uh, 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 Or the group of the move the ovary approach to the uh, uh, group and then after we continuously. So we will find this is a follicle. The loping follicle and follicle. And after we aspirate, move to the uh, labral side. For the uh, slaughtered animal, we can get the ovary. It is more easy because uh, animal survival it is very tough. Uh, uh, in rhino, we cut uh, uh, a big number. only for uh, no. side last time and the response also in hours and uh, after we can get the, the, the from get the, the sperm with the oocyte and we keep for about uh, 5 to 18 hours and then we uh, and finally uh, we can get the, the M virus this is the blast so this is uh, uh, and the, the, we cannot get a, a good quality of sperm and put the number of the sperm so we we use so so as we know, for the fertilization, uh, let them so 
this is the uh, so the and this uh, um, side, uh, the, this uh, sperm. So we not uh, selected this kind of the sperm. This is sperm. This very small sperm. Also, or maybe uh, not progressive uh, motility like this. So uh, uh, we use the the best. We could directly injected the. Uh, Selected sperm into the cytoplasm of the uh, oocyte. Even we do the injection, this is the 12 o'clock or uh, 6 o'clock because uh, chromosome actually nearby the, the, the polar body. So we directly inject the mobile sperm, but uh, select this is from the motel motel progressive sperm and then we put only one sperm inside and we leave them for development so uh, this is the uh, human all side is very clear we can see the uh, sperm also there this is the uh, all side of the rhinos is like the, uh, in the house also it's a very dark here because the uh, lipid is uh, more inside of the cytoplasm. So we culture the embryos. I'm oh, sorry. We culture the embryos. This is for the fertilization or by the EC. We culture on the three. We got the two cell, four cell, or eight cell states. And then when we culture, uh, further culture on the six, seven, usually we got the blastocysts some of them they hatch. So how to multiply this? The same thing, we just follow the uh, 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 then natural the I M and then tropoblast we So after we catch up the orange wire hours, and we, when we catch uh, uh, we can do Okay. So this is the viability of the embryo. Uh, we have tried in the lab after we catch up to the one hours. The development of the, the demi embryo about the 69 to uh, 89 uh, percent if you use the blastosis and after the three hours they just uh, move up uh, for uh, some percentage but usually uh, it's better we use the blast culture the other uh, embryo biotechnology of the related uh, uh, the assisted reproductive is the production of chimerism. Chimera is a single organism composed of the cell with more than one distinct genotype. This is actually come from the uh, chimera is a single organism composed. Uh, what you call it? Uh, the actor was in a uh, body, and maybe with the snake, the tail,
technology, especially in the embryo. You know, we try to use the GV embryo resulted from the host in all side that relies using the Japanese black sperm. So F1, hopefully that uh, this embryo has the uh, female black and white. On the other side, we have the limousine uh, sperm using the uh, uh, fertilizing uh, OC at uh, Japan. And then, uh, of course, we have the F1 with the color of red. And then uh, on the T3, it cell state embryo, we uh, remove the zona pellucida using the enzyme and we do the aggregation. And, and uh, uh, we got the embryos, uh, blastosis with the uh, two composition to the embryos. Again. So this is one of the method uh, using the micro manipulation. And after we have the slit, we use them uh, on another side of the embryo. And then we do the aggregation just mechanically. And we, we got the morule. After we transfer, we got the scalp. I think the three color. So we have a uh, white also there, brown, black also. So this uh, cows actually uh, have uh, four uh, genetic uh, parents from the patient hosting, Japanese black, limousine, and Japanese lab. It is only in the one generation. So people, uh, it is, Time uh, makes uh, actually two of the embryos. This is F1 from the patient of strain Japanese black and limousine. This cow uh, is a wool, uh, so uh, we can collect the sperm uh, to see uh, how is the fertilization. To lay this term is uh, of that type. Another technology for the uh, uh, plasmic sperm injection, we have done, and now also uh, we're starting again next uh, project doing the intracytoplasmic. Injection uh, cap, or we may have uh, from the so let the old side and then we uh, so the video actually this is the cat uh, all side inside we, we use this one we put in the uh, and of the, the injected directly. Uh, uh, when we culture, we will get uh, uh, we will get uh, uh, two cell. Of course, we can do the direct trans. This is what we. Uh, uh, then the doctor uh, we can in there so we have tried we try it i mean we do something for for this uh, this is just to see how the uh, uh, we collect the whole side uh, from the puntong i think And this is the uh, development of the yellow side in vitro. Yeah, I just uh, click. And then uh, we do, if we get the macho yellow side, then we do the 
So we try to do the XC, but yeah, actually we can put in our sperm. So uh, oh, yeah, actually. Sign or develop the father to the, the to the embryos. Yeah, uh, we we will improve it. Yeah. So this uh, Dr. Zainal and Dr. Lu, thank you for uh, having us working in videos. So, next time, so interspecies embryo transfer. It is possible. Possible that the uh, rhino someday can uh, uh, be so for the inner cell mass uh, embryo transfer. Actually, we uh, collect the inner cell mass from the donor, like the immunosurgery, uh, immunosurgery technology. So we only get the uh, inner cell mass from this uh, blastocyst injected this donor and two possibility will we have if this ICM uh, uh, developed together we may have a chimera in this uh, kind of the embryos but if we have to separate in the cell mass we can get twins with a different species there so this is, uh, thank you, Dr. Tia Ulhak. This is one of my uh, PhD students, just uh, finished uh, last month. So we try to inject the inner cell mass donor into the uh, uh, blastocyst recipient. So using the uh, piezo, we try to push this uh, uh, blastocyst recipient and we uh, injected the donor inner cell mass. So if, if these two inner cell mass develop each other, and then we can get a fourth. But if they mix, then we will get a chimera. We have done in the chaos when we visit with the prop. So we try to, uh, if the inner cell mass uh, recipient position in the, uh, in the uh, three o'clock it of the icm uh, combine the icm it means if we transfer and we get the baby it should be chimera or we can uh, manipulate inner cell mass recipient in the uh, nine o'clock so just like a, a previous video we injected the donor and if we get two inner cell mass developing each other, then we may have uh, twins in different species. We uh, discuss about the tradition, uh, 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 normal fertilization, uh, and the uh, manipulation of uh, the embryo rosite. So the second, I want to talk about the somatic cell nuclear transfer. So we will get the embryo without uh, any contribution of the sperm. So the, the technology actually, we remove the uh, original chromosome from the outside and we put the donor uh, cell and then we develop into the morule blastocyst and we transfer. Yeah, okay, let's see. So this is the uh, figure. We have four. try this or this uh, certain uh, yeah from the uh, yeah I think uh, we have the special uh, shift in this uh, time. Uh, and then we uh, collect the uh, skin cell, we uh, 
enough uh, we can cryo or we can use directly the cell as the donor so once we use directly uh, prepare uh, all set we transferring the uh, uh, donor cell there so cell fusion machine to insert this uh, donor cell and they develop into the embryo clone embryo and uh, identity from this uh, uh, cell source yeah so this is what uh, we have done actually we can see the uh, skin cell tissue and then we means we use uh, we culture uh, in vitro we have the primer culture and then we culture more for the four the seven and the 28 it is a lot of cell developed there we can uh, uh, use uh, directly or we can uh, cryoservation yeah for cryoservation we keep this material genetic for the other uh, clone possible so we keep in and uh, uh, into the liquid nitrogen with the uh, minus 196 we can keep for as long as uh, we need um, yeah of course uh, we have to maintain the uh, uh, liquid nitrogen so, so for the procedure actually we do the nucleation on the uh, nucleus of the uh, recipient egg and then we have this cell the donor cell fill tailing and then we use and we have a plus and minus uh, probe there and uh, we do uh, to get the uh, inoculation. This is the cow, so we need the uh, fluorescence using the hoax um, staining. So, yes, this looks easy. But uh, uh, when we do, yeah, of course, after we do several times, uh, not the inoculated the whole side, and then this is the donor, and we transfer this donor uh, outside into the uh, recipient yeah nowadays we can directly inject this donor uh, cell uh, directly into the cytoplasm just like the itc so we culture it and we get the uh, cycle the two cell four cell more blaster cells and then we culture we transfer to the recipient and uh, uh, so uh, this is our data. We got uh, several uh, clone uh, code. So the last of my uh, talk according to parthenogenetic. Yeah. Uh, after we have the DC normal fertilization, uh, somatic cell nuclear transfer, about the parthenogenetic. Actually, this is part of my uh, dissertation when I was a phase of one. So I study about the how this um, function would in the fertility. having the uh, first polar body and then during the uh, fertilization it activate will activate the to finishing the meiosis 2 with the exclusion of the uh, this uh, chromosomes become uh, haploid and then sperm with having the haploid also will fuse So, 
So uh, they will just become cycled with this uh, diploid. So this function uh, just uh, changed by the uh, yeah, karyotyping of genesis of oh, sorry, karyogenesis of this uh, uh, cell. So, uh, but before this uh, second polar body extruded, I used the cytokalasin B, it was, to avoid the extrusion of second polar body. So we have uh, two, two uh, uh, haploid chromosome there, and we will do the homogeneous. Yeah. After we culture, then again, we, we get a nice uh, uh, embryo, we get a nice blastosis, but uh, when we try to transfer several times, we cannot get. But again, this is according to the genomic imprinting. This is also other uh, side of the mechanism of uh, impossibility of genetic uh, offspring from the original pattern. Chimera production, I tried to produce the parthenogenetic, original parthenogenetic, but we cannot get the baby from this uh, embryo. I aggregate with the normal embryo, IVF embryo, IVF, in vitro produce embryos. So after we aggregate, um, we have the blastocyst and we transfer to the Lisbon. And then we got, this is calf uh, born in the Louisiana and one uh, born in the Yamaguchi. So we reported in the 1999. So it's possible to have this uh, cell contribute into the calf. So again, if uh, just like uh, what uh, my student doing, if we have this uh, part in the genetic originally, we transfer to the blastocyst originally from the, the IVF, and we have two inner cell mass, we cannot uh, say now it is possible or not. We will get the original parthenogenetic from this uh, technology. So the further research on the parthenogenetic embryo not for a productive purpose. Again, if uh, we can do in the cows, maybe it's uh, very similar with a human and it is ethically impossible to do that. So, but again, after I finished my PhD, I stopped research of parthenogenetic. But again, after now I'm studying about the stem cell, I'm just thinking of producing the parthenogenetic embryo for uh, embryonic stem cell uh, source. So we call this is parthenogenetic embryonic stem cell. So this is again another discussion uh, according to the uh, technology. So thank you. This is actually so as you can say when I was another discussion. So as you can say when I was okay, is sorry, yes, three years ago. Malaysian this is also done there. The promoter of Japan. This is a Dr. Jian from the Ismail Bahmudi, our team when I was in the uh, so this is all of my presentation. Uh, thank you for your uh, uh, listening, attention.